Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Cardboard Crawlers Outdoor Amphitheater. Uh, it's Friday, I think, the 23rd of September today. Winter's just around the corner. Uh, I'm getting ready to travel back to California here in about a month, month and a half, something like that. As winter approaches, I'll know more. But yeah, just uh, pretty much did a ton of yard work today for one of my neighbors um, their yard has just gotten out of hand you know they're in their late 80s and they don't have a permanent uh, person that comes and takes care of their yard and they just have you know it's beautiful they have lots of hedges and trees and stuff and, and it all just needed trimming lots of pyracantha growing up through some really nice hedges and you know that stuff sucks it's got giant thorns in it I was working there the other day and took one to my knuckle, like, I, the thing went all the way to the bone, like, I, I almost couldn't use my hand the next day, but it's gotten better, I Epsom salt and some, some other antibiotic, antiseptic kind of things, and uh, it seemed to just kind of... Hey guys, just a quick reminder, like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend, show a friend, get a truck. Build a course. Now back to the regularly scheduled action. I heal itself up, but those pyrocantha thorns, man, they get you and they hurt. And this one, you know, was probably three inches long. Anyhow, just out wheeling uh, in the outdoor amphitheater, uh, running that Maz designs cheat code right there the blue and white one and of course that beautiful c10 right there getting it right now flexed out all the way using rock uh, using um, bead locks to climb up that rock right there I was using the full side of the bead lock just getting traction um, so i don't generally uh do many hands of gods when the camera's not rolling i try to leave it as it is but i think in this edit i edited out a rollover or two um and i know there's one in there where i just hand to got it a lot of times i just especially for the camera i'll use a toe strap or something you know if i'm just out playing with the nephews i mean my five-year-old nephew he touches his truck every 30 seconds just because he thinks that's part of it you know like, ah, i'm not making this so he just moves it <laughs> and whatever it's okay when we run courses and play follow the leader it's a little different structure but when he's out here just free crawling like have fun you want your truck to move forward not be stuck so i'm trying to get him to you know he's got a gladiator it's on version two i just put a grizzly works lcg kit in it for him and Trying to get him to crawl more. I think he has a... I think that rig actually has a stock motor in it, and that needs to change. I need a purple motor for that truck, I think, or something to make him slow down. He likes, you know, he's fine. The thing is, I think, what I just figured out is that he has a hard time reversing because his hand's so small. So I taught him to use the backside of the forward trigger, you know, as the reverse to push that trigger forward rather than reach out and try to hit the reverse trigger. Like I said, there was a weird little something right there. I think what I did, the way that I backed up and then I pulled a bunch of pine straw that was down in that corner because um, it just gets in there, wraps the axles and just binds everything up. I try to... I usually, if I know I'm coming out, I'll blow the blow the whole course off with the blower real quick, and then uh, you know just pick a few out by hand as needed. And I did that, but I, I blew it off this morning, and then fall nice, cool, seventy degree day today, and yeah. So I don't know why I just went in a circle, uh, just messing around, and you know, out wheeling. That's what you do when you're wheeling. You just Bump and, bump and run and get her done, right? I got all high centered right there, but you know, a little wiggle wiggle goes a long way and gets you out of a lot of spots. 
So I think I don't have my dual rate turned where I need it. I think I can get more steering angle out of this setup. I just am not. Um, you know, it, it, it works though. I'm, I'm slowly just getting that one dialed in and C10's a runner. She's just a basher. She's on a, you know, version one electronics. Um, one of my only rigs that doesn't have a white servo horn, but that is a Power Hobbies servo horn that has a side bolt in it. It has a face bolt that always, I, I lost it and it's gone. Um, but that one has like a, you know, a side, you can tighten it down onto the the servo with a little side bolt and that dude never comes loose never comes out of adjustment so thanks power hobbies for that right here i'm just struggling i want to get over to the lookers left of the screen here um driver you know i want to get to the passenger side of this rock and i'm just trying to get my tire to hook up over the top right there and that's the hook that i wanted and, you know, I was just down in that slash and couldn't get out. So, thanks for having a tire there for me to bump against. And there we go. Um, and like I said, I just do like a cut. It, when I cut, it's generally that I'm just doing a camera move. And, you know, this is an iPhone 11 on a mini, you know, flexible tripod. And I even forgot to shoot in 4K today. So, this is probably just HD 30 frames per second nothing special I try to shoot in 4k when I can remember because um, it just comes out so much better especially with these small trucks um, but this this looks pretty good as I'm editing this in and, and watching this as we're putting in the uh, the speak over and uh, man, these it, it's it these rigs work really good, and it's not just because the body's narrow. You know, people say, "Oh, well, it only works because the body's narrow." Well, nah, it's just it works. It's real easy to drive. It it goes where you want it to go most of the time. Like I said, my dual rate needs to be adjusted, um, but I really like it. I really like driving that rig. Um, I like the C10 because it's my first rig. That's my baby right there. And I still have more that I'm going to do to that. I can't remember what the kit is that I need to get to have some spacers so I can actually mount some Charisma shocks to that C10. I want to put some oil-filled shocks on that C10. I have Charisma sitting here. And they're all charged up and ready to go. And... Uh, I want to put them on there I just have there's a spacer that I need to get that goes inside the pivot ball to make the normal SCX 24 hardware work so I don't have to I don't want to drill holes in a frame rail or in a uh, like in an LCG kit uh, shock mount or anything like that that's going to get a Grizzly Works kit on it and um, yeah so it is what it is not a problem uh, I'm just looking for a solution there so if you have it someone's told me what it is and I probably have it written down in a notebook around here but I have been doing a lot of outside work and not enough inside work today I did let I took Blue over to Jimmy's house and let him hang out over there for about an hour while I came home and I have hardwood throughout my house so I have a little trick where you just spray Windex and use like a um, like a dry mop kind of thing and I vacuumed and I did all the you know the got all the hardwoods nice and clean the baseboards and everything's real cleaned up and that helped me feel a little bit more tidy and to get a few things put away that needed to be but <clears throat> the SCX 24s have taken over part of my living room and the life in there and my fly tying desk is a disaster, and hey, just things I need to do. Not a big deal. Life is as life does. 
still got out and had a good time uh, in the rocks today. And, you know, as long as we get to do something that we really enjoy every day, everything else is just what it is, you know. Like I said, I, I get a lot of pleasure and uh, maybe not pleasure, but I get good personal a sense of satisfaction when I can go help a neighbor, you know, whether they can uh, afford a gardener or not. You know, sometimes they just, you know, the gardener disappears or who knows, you know, sometimes they, they pay them, you know, and then they don't show up for a while. So then they cancel them or whatnot. I don't know, whatever the case is, but it feels good to be able to help people. I'm in my life's in a position where I'm able to go out and do that, you know, and there's a ton of YouTubers that have huge channels by going out and uh, doing fully overgrown lawns, but like ours aren't like that. They're not just out of hand, you know, it's just, I try to take care of them in the summer. All of our grass goes dormant in the winter, so nobody has to have a gardener then. Other than for, you know, debris, you know, like I said, the one neighbor over here, that the, the, it's just piled up. It's a couple of years, and if they'd have hired a gardener, and it probably cost them three, four, five hundred dollars with all the tree work that I'm doing over there. But I told her I'd do it for a hundred bucks, and that's what I'm going to do it for. And, uh, you know, whatever. I, I, I don't know. Money's a strange thing, and I don't really love it very much. I don't like the way certain things work. But I love my winter job and that's where I really make my money and I make, you know, I have a good life there. And I have a good life. So I don't know why sometimes I just can't remember that every single day. Uh, you know, uh, my nephew the other day, I had to show him a picture of me when I was five and explain to him that I am just that little boy stuck in this big person's body because he's five years old and he was telling me he, he wants to grow up he wants to hurry up and get big and I was telling him well I think you need to maybe stay small for a while buddy and enjoy the good times so it's funny how everybody's perspective is just a little bit different and that's something that we all forget right that we're all going through it that we all have had or will have some sense of problem in our life. Uh, whether it's a problem according to you or not uh, is, you know, it, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Like, my problems are not yours, and your problems are not mine. But we all have them. And we all got to remember that, you know, none of us have it figured out, do we? It isn't, tell me in the comments if you have it figured out you tell me you give me uh, the the uh, the equation that helped you figure it out because I'll be 52 next spring and I don't know anything but yeah it's a crazy world and it seems to just keep getting crazier so I'm going to just keep playing in the rocks and in the winter I'm gonna operate a snowcat as many hours a day every day in the winter as I can and that way winter's always coming it's always right around the corner so I was thinking about getting some of the treal oil field shocks for this little comp buggy if anybody else out there is running a set of those Trail oil filled, just the 32 millimeters, let me know what you think about them. Um, just thinking about ordering a setup. Number one, I wanted to try some oil shocks or something different on that rig. Color wise, like I don't think I'm gonna get that much action out of you know it's a 32 millimeter shock. It doesn't have that much action. Um, but I'd like to put something blue on there. Or uh, they make a silver one that kind of matches the links and the uh, steering link and all that. Those would look cool. But I think blue would look un under there. It'd be flash and kind of pop with the uh, blue that's on the body. So this is a tougher section than it really looks. You know, the camera always makes things look easier than they are. 
But this little climb will get you. And I'm just kind of pivoted there. And that was one of those... I just moved it back to the spot. And, and then suddenly I was just lined up and got the line. Thing is, we just roll off here. Both trucks rolled off. Bang. That's it. Cardboard crawlers.